Our picture ledge is looking good, but we still need to apply the finishing touches and attach it to the wall. For this portion of the project, we'll need sanding sponges and sandpaper, white paint, a paint tray, and a foam roller and paintbrush. Then, we'll use a level and snap toggle bolts to hang the ledge on the wall. Sanding and painting is next on the to-do list, so Sean takes us outside to keep the mess at bay. Where we used the countersink, we had to fill with wood putty, and now this is dry. So we're gonna start with a coarse piece of sandpaper okay. to get all this rough, dried up wood putty off of the ledge. Go ahead and sand it down. Okay. Now I'm gonna finish up with a fine sanding block. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and give it a nice finish sanding, and you can see how smooth that is. You can't yeah. even see where we put the screw. Yeah. And that's exactly what we wanted. And now we're ready to paint. We give the entire piece a thin coat of white paint, using the paintbrush in the tight corners and a foam roller on the rest of the wood. We'll let it dry for 24 hours and then head back inside to see if our hard work paid off. Now it's time to finally get it up on the wall. Okay. Okay, Ryan, we're gonna put an anchoring hole into the ledge about two feet from each edge. Okay, so we're gonna have two anchoring holes so we can put the bolts through once we get the anchors up on the wall. Sean marks the board and drills a hole on each end, making sure they're wide enough to fit the large bolts. Then Sean recruits me to do the heavy lifting. I hold the ledge on the wall while he measures and marks our drill points. Okay, Ryan, we took the ledge down and we see exactly where we have to put our snap toggle anchor. We're gonna put the anchor into the wall, and we're gonna fish it through so that this metal bar is up against the plaster and holds the ledge in place. Now, did I remember correctly that this would hold over 200 pounds? Absolutely. We have to make a hole large enough for this metal bar to fit through the plaster. So I'm gonna use a half inch paddle bit and we're gonna make the hole right now. We've got the hole over here. We've got it anchored up. We've got one more hole, one more anchor. Guess who's doing this one? Um, our cameraman. Come on, Greg, let's Come on, uh, Greg. help us out yeah. over here. here we go. Looks like this one is all on me. I insert the metal bar, pull the plastic tight, and then snap it right off. Let's go ahead and get the ledge up on the wall. Okay. You're gonna hold it in place, and I'm gonna put the bolts into okay, the ledge. Okay, sounds good. Okay, Ryan. We've got the ledge up, we've got the bolts through the ledge, they're into the anchors, but they're not tightened down yet. I wanna make a couple last minute adjustments so we can make sure the ledge looks as straight and level as possible. So let's go ahead and load it up. Our new picture ledge transforms this wall, and it hardly took us any time at all. If your wood doesn't require painting, you can definitely complete this project in a half a day. It's a focal point for people to see when they come in. It was definitely under 50 bucks worth of materials, and these ledges go for lots of money at some of the nice designer high-end places. Yeah, I definitely think this is not a project for beginners, but maybe like the intermediate category, somebody could tackle this thing. I agree, Ryan, but anybody that loves DIY can tackle this project on their own.